What a series to be a part of. Yeah. Percy Jackson is massive. Um, I was a big fan of the originals with Logan Lerman, mm. you're obviously your predecessor, Walker. So I'm curious, did you speak to him about this before going into filming or anything? I haven't spoken to him yet, but I have gotten a couple messages from him. Oh. Like, um, we did a panel in New York and he sent a message for that and he did like an interview with Liam. Yeah. And he gave me a couple like pieces of advice which are really helpful. Nice. Like when you do a series, obviously as opposed to a film, you can put so many more details, I think, in there. Are there any little details about each of your characters that you think that we should be looking out for? Because I feel like they've added little things, even like Annabeth like touching her like the, the Yankees hat mm. when she's like nervous and things like that. Is there anything for you for any of you that you think look out for that? It's a great question. <laughs> it is a good question. We don't have an answer. Yeah. <laughs> is, um, you go first. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think gr this isn't like a, an emotional thing, but his physicality is something that we worked on a lot for Grover. Yeah. So whenever he's kind of at camp, he has a certain posture. Whenever he wants to run, he has a certain posture. Just stuff like that that kind of like tell his mood because he's yeah. a very empathetic character. He feels things very strongly, and we worked hard on trying to reflect that in his physicality. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. How about you, Walker? This isn't really like. <laughs> An Easter egg. It's just something I like that they added in the books. <laughs> you can look at the poster behind me too. It has that, um, like in the dark. Yeah. Uh, celestial bronze glows, mm -hmm. and so Percy's sword glows, which I think is really cool. Like, nice detail that they yeah. added. Super bright in the Minotaur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in like the yeah. I always find it weird as well that you guys say Minotaur because. In, I've always been brought up saying Minotaur. Yeah, James, James, James Bobin, Bobin always says Minotaur. He's like, Minotaur. <laughs> yeah. So we've so. changed, like, we've done, like, multiple takes. <laughs> like, the whole Minotaur sequence, we did, like, half the takes saying Minotaur, yeah. half the <laughs> takes saying Minotaur. Uh, yeah, how like about Mr. you? Um, <laughs> like, just like what you said about when she's, like, nervous or, like, just, like, has, like, um, interaction with, like, uh, a sensitivity to her mm -hmm. or, like, emotion. I feel like a lot of times, like, if she's, um, like being stubborn or like a little bit of an argument or like just being happy and stuff. I really feel like, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I really feel like, uh, I'm blaming these two because <laughs> we know what you're doing. What are you <laughs> talking about? Preposterous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how you're coping with them. Honestly, well done. That's what I'm saying. Well done. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like she does that a lot yeah. when she, you know, you know. Yes, yeah. yes, that's her hat. Absolutely. A lot of things obviously happened to Percy from a young age, a lot of remarkable things, which I think kind of mirrors kind of what's happened with you guys, right? Like young, a lot of crazy things are happening. What would you say so far has been the most exciting or remarkable thing that's happened to you as a result of all of this? Premiere was pretty wicked. That was, it was cool to have like, like, like real conversations yeah. with like Percy Jackson fans. <laughs> yeah. Like oh, talk to them about the books and stuff and, and what their favorite ones were and favorite scenes. Mm -hmm. Because like, I mean, we're all big fans of the books. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it was cool to have like, like more big fans of the books to like to talk to yeah. about this. So yeah. Yeah. And can you ask that question one more time? Yes, <laughs> I can. Anything, what's the most like remarkable, exciting thing that's happened like as a result of like all of Oh all yeah, this? I feel like the traveling part of all of it. Because oh, you know, like mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, I get to be with the cast and stuff and yeah. also just traveling, get to go to these places that you normally just wouldn't go to and stuff on a regular daily basis and just to know that at such a young age we're traveling yeah. around the world and doing so much that like people wait years and years almost like at like the age of like 40 sometimes people didn't even do so so like yeah. just to have the opportunity to do it now it's like a really good like feeling and also definitely the premiere and stuff yeah. like mm -hmm. and if we get to do it here yeah no oh my god no i get it like i didn't start traveling to us in my 30s and i was like i wish i'd done it sooner so you guys yeah. <laughs> you guys are winning